So today we are gonna go over Google Gemini's brand new model, Nano Banana. I love the name of it. Today we're actually gonna give you some practical examples and some prompts to really test this thing out so you're gonna see it real time. I'm actually gonna try to create the actual thumbnail for this video using Nano Banana and we're gonna have some fun with it. So stay tuned and build along with us. So I gotta be honest, usually I follow the hype around and we're always trying to keep up with the latest trends and the models and everything that comes out. And AI is such a hockey puck of our, like a growth curve. So it's like almost like if you sleep for like even a half a minute, you might miss the best and most important model that's ever come out. But today, like everything else, we're gonna put it into model and we're gonna show you how to use it to ensure that you're getting the most value out of it. Now, to be incredibly clear, you wanna make sure that you take some of these prompts, use it for your business, try to find some practical way to make money. I'm gonna show you how we're doing it, give it a bunch of tests, and then actually create a thumbnail that is gonna be used for this video. I'm actually gonna also take some of my older thumbnails and see it comes up like with some better suggestions on some of my not performing videos. So let's jump right in, right? So the first thing you wanna do is you gotta go into Google Gemini. So when you come in, as always, you wanna do like a little bit of a Google search, right? So Google search, and in the Google search, all you're gonna do is you're gonna just type in Google Gemini. Now, I do believe it is free for kind of like beginning uses of like just a few uses, but you can also get Google Gemini. I think it's $20 a month. We have it. Again, I have all AI at this point, but it's one of my favorites to leverage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna type in Google Gemini. Now I have an account, so it is gonna log me in, but you can also test it out if you do a Google search for Google AI Studio, and this is free. So for all of you that don't wanna spend a little bit of um, money to get it, you can click on Google AI Studio, and lo and behold, on the left-hand side, you have the chat, and it has Try and a Banana for free. And you can come in here and you can run it. Google AI Studio is completely free. We are gonna be using Gemini just because I wanna make sure I can leverage it with some of the things I already have, and I have it, so why not use it? And the promoting this kind of hard, as you can see, it's got it right up here. Try image editing with our best image model, Nano Banana. I really love the name. It like flows out of the tongue. I think it's really cool. So anyway, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go and hit the actually try image editing, and it automatically converts to the little banana symbol with the image. You can also turn it on here by clicking on here. And remember, now we got VO over here too, so Google is definitely not one you wanna sneak on. I'm gonna come over here, and let's have some fun. I'm gonna grab an image of mine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let's see if we can find a file real quick. So after a lot of searching, I finally found an image where, you know, my stomach is not as uh, obese as it was before. <laughs> so I'm gonna click on here. I have an image of me, a very simple image. And what I'm gonna do is put me in a Superman suit. All right, we're gonna start small here. You guys can have some fun. Again, I'm misspelled and everything as usual. Pretty simple picture as you can see. Let's see if we can keep my face my body intact, and let's see what it can do based on that. All right, kind of weird with the jeans. <laughs> Make it the Henry Cavell Superman. Again, not bad. If we kind of like scroll up, it definitely kept the facial images. It kept my hands in my pockets. It definitely gave me jeans. And oh, here we go. Oh, a little on the muscular side. I'm kind of liking where it's going. Now I'm gonna say, okay, now make me fly. Well, just make me fly. Now make me fly. See what happens in here? We're gonna go in there. And notice how quick it is though. It is going in there. All right, now, hey, it wants to make me look like uh, Henry Cavell. <laughs> I don't mind. I do notice the resemblance, but I could completely be, uh, yeah, imagining that. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna go in, try again, keep the same face, but let's see if the face can be retained. No, it's kind of losing it at this point. So we know that obviously some of the limitations are there. Again, I, one, I would love the hair. Two, I would definitely like to have that little chin thing going on that he's got going, but it's definitely not gonna work. Really cool image, pretty good on the generation side, but let's keep going, right? So I'm also gonna give it a thumbnail. So I'm gonna give it my recent thumbnail. So we're gonna add and upload another file. And actually, you know what? Let's do it even better. I am go to my YouTube channel. And by the way, this is the time to subscribe, I'm just saying. And we're gonna go to Automated Marketer, a little bit older. Let's see if we can figure out a way to improve it. And again, we are doing this real time, folks. This is not hidden. So one, if this doesn't work out, it's because it's not working out. And obviously we're doing something real time. And that's what we wanna test. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here. But more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with a group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with 
anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna upload uh, the image file, and I got a bunch of other ones that we can try. Let's do the thumbnail, and I'm just gonna say, make this thumbnail better. It's not working or converting. All right, let's just see it. Again, it did convert, but let's just see if it comes up with some strategy. Now, lettering when it comes to all image generation is where we start losing the quality. Again, these are real time. A lot of people are just like showing what could be done and everything else. I'm trying to give you the real deal and you guys are seeing me through my struggles. Now, look, not for nothing, is this pretty good? When we go like kind of far out, this is pretty darn good. It kept my hands, it kept my face. It definitely kept the body, obviously not my body, but hey, I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't look bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna say different style. Yeah, I'm gonna say a different style. Let's just see what it can come up with. I know that it definitely struggles with, with lettering because again, all AI does when it comes to the imaging. Ideogram is probably the only one that really focuses on lettering, but the quality of keeping my body in there, I thought was really, really good. And we're gonna try some other prompts to make it even better. And again, we're gonna create a thumbnail from scratch and kind of do it. I'm gonna, you pick, all right? You pick, just give me the image already. The fact that it's keeping my body in my head already is a pretty good idea of like what we want, but altogether, not gonna say I'm not unsatisfied with it. And I am gonna create, like I said before, I'm gonna work a little harder to get the image that we want. And then we're gonna try some prompts out to see. All right, here we go. All right, oh my God, there we go. Honestly, not bad, not bad at all. Holy smokes, all right. Image, very, very close. I mean, literally very, very close. This is probably the closest I've ever seen AI. It generated an image with my thumb. It kept the high-level logo, the 2024 Ultimate Guide to Conversions API. Uh, wow, not bad, not bad at all. So it is doing a pretty good job of doing that. Like, honestly, that's really impressive. Okay, completely different, but put me in a banana costume and make it a thumbnail and write, I love Nano Banana. I mean, honestly, I'm a little impressed. I gotta be honest. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. This is really, really good. You guys saw it live, right? I barely did anything. I'm not really playing with the image. Let me pick a better image, like in all fairness, if I was doing this, giving it the same exact odds, like if I was doing it like with my one of my developers or designers, where I would have to give them a pretty decent PNG image, with the background to give it a fair chance because the other one was really busy and I gave it an existing image and it pulled everything out, moved the things from one side to the other and also instilled my image and gave me a brand new body. So honestly, that's pretty darn impressive. All right, so I'm gonna go grab a more kind of image that I would use for this. So let's go in here and let's go over to completely different, but put me in a banana costume to fix the spelling and make it a thumbnail and write, I love Nano Banana. All right, so it's got a plain backward image. Like I said, this would probably be the image that I would leverage for regular you know, thumbnail creation using like Canva or something else or even Photoshop. So let's see what it can do and whether or not it can put me in a banana suit, that's number one, and two, if it can get the writing down. Wow, folks, are we serious? That is one heck of a thumbnail. I don't know what the brown spots are, they're a little, uh, a little weird. <laughs> so I'm impressed, that is totally my face. I am not smiling like that on this picture and it was able to keep, and I do have hairy arms, so it was able to keep all this. So this is beyond impressive. Holy crap. Like, I mean, man, and even got banana right. Holy smokes. All right, let me, again, I wanna make sure that the spelling is right. Again, I am so sorry. Like following me is detrimental to your spelling career. <laughs> so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do it one more time. And then we're gonna get some prompts. And you guys saw what I did. I loaded up a PNG. I gave it a really good thumbnail. Man, I think this thumbnail will sell. Like, I think people will click on this. I'm sold. This is pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go in and go, change this person's outfit to a formal suit while keeping the facial expression and the pose identical. So I'm gonna put myself in a suit. So we're gonna upload the same file again. Let's do the one we literally just did. You know, because I wanted a fresh start. I don't want to confuse you with the Nano Banana stuff. And now I'm literally giving it that white photo with me with the sweater on. And now again, wow, guys, like the ties there, these are actually colors that I would wear. Okay, impressed, that places. Now let's just keep going. It's gonna be replace the background with the beach scene. All right, so these are ones I already kind of found on the internet. And we are commanding it, ensuring that the subject's hair or lack of, and clothing details remain the same and consistent. So again, we're gonna keep some tests. We're doing this live, like whatever you see is literally whatever you have. You kind of saw it struggle a little bit with the, 
Superman suit, but maybe I probably wasn't prompting or even trying to prompt it right. But again, here are the things that you guys can practically do. You can now create headshots for people based on an image that they have. And again, a lot of my friends are doing this, but what I felt was really off was that the face recognition was off and they had to use like a third party tool. This is not a third party tool. This is kind of going in to everything that we need. All right, beach scene, here it is. It keeps on doing it. Now, granted, I did give it a PNG image, so it is leveraging the background and removing it on its own, but darn, this is good. All right, add sunglasses to the character, adjusting the lighting for the suset and matching the exact position, proportions, and features. Let's just keep going. Then again, it did it again. It added sunglasses. And if you notice, it's not as bright. It dimmed it more to the sunset. Ladies and gentlemen, this is like legit real. We're just gonna keep going, right? So we keep modifying the same image over and over, transform the casual shirt into a pattern dress, preserving the body's posture and skin tone. This is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> not my style, <laughs> but why not? It worked, right? <laughs> now let's just keep going. And we are now give inanimate objects to the image. So we're gonna have insert a coffee cup in hand and change the setting to, into a cafe, keeping the expression and the face unchanged. Can I change the shirt? <laughs> I feel a little awkward. Put him in a Hawaiian button down shirt. Wow, it is, it is. Now we're starting to see a little deterior. Oh, no, we're not because this is actually the hot coffee coming in. My neckline doesn't look weird. And notice that my finger is through the loophole and the finger is supporting it and I have all my fingers back. Whoa, holy smokes. And again, it is preserving my look and feel. I don't look half bad or too shabby in the Hawaiian shirt. But again, we change the texture, we add an inanimate object, we change the background, and now my movement and my fingers stayed intact. Whoa. All right, age the person by 10 years while retaining the unique facial structure and current pose. Now I'm gonna age myself. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, that's what I'll look like in 10 years. I look pretty darn handsome. So yeah, and again, it aged my face. It definitely created, you know, the same kind of structure, eyebrows, eyes are at the same. But again, I can come over here, upload a new file. Let's do this one right here. All right, put me into a suit and make this a professional headshot. All right, so not bad. So now let's go a little bit further, okay. I am creating a children's book called Penny and the Meerkat. Please create a series of cartoon images of Penny and her best friend, the Meerkat. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a picture of my daughter. All right. So I'm going to upload a downloaded image right here. All right. And then we are, let's see if I actually might not be able to read that image file. Let's see. So here is Penny and the Meerkat. I think that's so funny and it's got really cool look to it. Make some more of just different situations, all right? It's losing a little bit of the consistency, but again, I can keep refeeding the image it once we find the character that we like, and then just keep going in from there. Like for instance, I probably save this. So if we do this again, save the image, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. And then I would upload the image, take these two characters and make them play on the beach. Okay, and again, keeping the consistency, you play around with it. Obviously, if you start losing the consistency, have one picture that you really like, refeed it back in. Now that it recognizes the consistency element, because you saw the pictures that literally we were just doing one after the other after the other, and it was doing all that, including creating the thumbnail that we're gonna use for this video, you could see the power of this altogether. I've heard this thing can actually restore pictures, so if you have an older picture, put it in here, ask it to restore it, you can do it, and you can also make videos. So we're actually gonna try to attempt to make a video as the last thing we do here, so you guys can see that benefit, and then go from there. So you see, now we got consistency going on and I just can keep going over and over and over again. Now, obviously the tail is all the way down here. So we would eliminate the tail, but it's pretty darn close, right? And what I'll do is I'll come over here. I'm gonna go create a Vimeo, new chat, and we're gonna upload the photo, make this video of them playing on the beach. And let's see what it does. Now, again, this is using Vio. They are laughing, having fun, something like right? Can't wait to show my daughter this. I think she'll love it. So how cool is this? I mean, I literally, I think my daughter is going to completely be beside herself. So I'm going to download this real quick so you guys can see it. And then we're going to actually play this video. Let me see, where is it? Oh, come on. The water is dripping, showing a little wet. It's coming out live through here. Look at the smiles. That is so, so, so cool. All right. So folks, again, have some fun with this. 
A lot of professional ways to do this. Have some fun with your kids with it. I mean, obviously this thing is like amazing. Huge fan. Great job, Google. Great, great job. Well played. And again, I think this is going to be tremendous. I know that all my thumbnails are going to have a major rehaul and my staff are definitely going to take a little bit of a breath because now they'll have the ability of doing this to make it even easy. And now we can even add video components to it. So ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. We'll